Hello, my name is Mindsuper McGee, also known as Mindsuper in VR Chat, and the world I want to show today is called Lin City by Lin. And by the, those names and the name of the creator, we can assume that this is the creator's ideal city. Now, it's a little small and we move a little fast, but you know, just through what we can see, we can see exactly the sort of city that Lin wants. Um, Let's see, we got a countryside over here. We got the suburbs right here, just a thousand houses right there. And then we have the city, uh, all these sort of skyscrapers and, you know, just taking it all in. <laughs> uh, in all seriousness, uh, this appears to be a bunch of like city models placed around to represent a city, like, I believe that's the Space Needle and the Eiffel Tower and just a lot of the same city blocks repeating over and over. Um, I don't know why you can move so fast though and why it's so small uh, and why there's like a lolly on houses above McDonald's as well. I don't, I don't, I don't know, but it's pretty big. It's pretty impressive. There's a lot going on here. Let's see if because I've got a small avatar now. So let's see if it looks a little more realistic. Despite us moving at a thousand miles an hour, you know, this is kind of a reasonable size. Yeah, not so bad. It's impossible to walk on anything because you run at a million miles an hour. <laughs> There's a giant factory <laughs> under the Eiffel Tower for some reason. I know I don't seem like I'm giving it praise, but I'm showing it off, so obviously I think it's interesting. I just, I think, I, I don't see many cities, and this one has the very bizarre choices of making it like teeny tiny, and you move at a thousand miles an hour. So, I don't know, it's interesting. I'm glad it exists for sure. Okay, that was Lynn City by Lynn. <laughs> Thank you.